And welcome back to another series here featuring Mercury Racing and the Repower Project of the Flight 1130 nonstop. Once upon a time known as the Project 1080, but now we've got Mercury Racing 565s in here at TNT Marine Center. Uh, and just waiting for the moment to begin when the hatch comes off and those babies right there, 565s, yeah. Going into the cigarette Top Gun 38 uh, straight bottom for those of you who may or may not remember. Yes, a 2000 model year straight bottom cigarette, uh, one of the last of its time. Uh, built right here in North Miami, only about maybe a mile or two away from TNT Marine Center. And of course, there is a storyline behind every single boat here getting re rigged or repowered in some way or shape or form here by TNT Marine Center. We caught up with Ralph Lanero, the service manager. Good morning. We are here. It is uh, September 14th, and we're uh, uh, working really hard to get Stu uh, ready for his uh, uh, world famous uh, poker run. And uh, we're trying to get his boat. We're totally almost rebuilding the whole boat, and uh, we hope uh, to see you there. This is Ralph uh, from TNT, and I uh, run the, the service department. And just a few feet away uh, from where Ralph sits in the service center here in the rigging center, Yavuz is working feverishly uh, on this uh, Project 1080 removal. So those are the 540s coming out, and uh, he's done a wonderful job of getting those engines out and very gingerly lowering them down onto the engine racks and now that gives us now a clean slate for starting over not really uh, a lot of rigging to do you know the boat was rigged with for the 540s and essentially the 565s are a little bit of an upgrade of course in horsepower and the style of the engine has some modifications but essentially these engines are going to bolt right in and everything else all of the hardware that is currently installed uh, in the cigarette is going to be reused of course these 565s have a new set of technical specifications and there are some design changes in the overall engine but essentially we're getting a very similar sturdy mercury racing platform and what i love about it is that it runs on pump fuel and they come with a two-year warranty so that's really uh really the biggest attraction to these engine platforms uh, you really can't hurt these engines in any way shape or form of course the vessel view controls all of the functions not only of the engines but notice the guys are now installing those brand new mercury racing k-planes those are the 380s uh, which is a big upgrade from the 280s that we took off and you're about to see why we're going to show you the difference in the two tabs and why do you need big tabs well guys when you're running in uh, big seas or when you're running these big heavy v bottoms like this cigarette top gun uh, it's nice to have a little help now this uh, tab will essentially make the boat perform like a bigger boat and when you're running in offshore conditions uh, having these big tabs really does come in handy, especially when you have a full load of fuel and a full crew. And there are the 280s. You can see that they're substantially smaller. Of course, they still did the job for me, you know, for three years running. I did have the 380s on a previous offshore power boat. I had a Nortec 39 Super V, which I built with Nortec back in 2007. It was an 08 model. And we ran that boat pretty hard for about two years. And I just found that the 380s, uh, gave me that extra edge that I needed as far as uh, extra performance and handling in the rough stuff. And of course, uh, well, first of all, it looks like the bolt pattern it fit perfectly. It's the exact same uh, mounting plate and ram. It's uh, just a bigger actual tab is really what it amounts to. So they were able to go on smoothly. Of course, a lot of that 5200 or 4200, depending on how long and how sticky you want it to be. We understand the differences. Uh, 5200 is much more permanent uh, and it's going to leave a mark if you try to remove it later. 4200 is going to be a little more forgiving uh, in terms of doing another installation or repowering later. Being able to get those parts to separate without doing a lot of damage to the paint and to the gel coat. So you guys who uh, like to do it yourself and uh, are good with a wrench, you might enjoy this segment. Let's just have some fun watching Yavuz and Aaron work together as a team uh, to finalize the installation of these tabs as well as get the engine room ready for those Mercury Racing 565s.
Well, we have uh, opened up most of the boxes, and believe me, there were many because we had the tabs that were all boxed up. We had the new Bravo drives. We had the ITS, uh, which we're now looking at uh, getting those out of the box. Of course, that's the integrated transom system from Mercury Racing, which essentially does a couple of things. You know, it gives you, first of all, a standoff. Uh, it's to be mated with a Bravo drive. So it gives you a standoff of about eight inches from the transom, so it pushes your propulsion back further from the transom, giving the boat better performance characteristics. And of course, it's got that internal steering. And that's, I think, the biggest bonus because now you've got the benefits of uh, hydraulic steering uh, all wrapped up into a nice little package and you have no external parts. So when you look at the transom, and I know that some guys like bling, so if you look at a boat with uh, you know, Latham steering, it's a beautiful you know, engineering. But there's a lot of exposed stainless steel parts on your transom, which obviously need to be well cared for and maintained. Well, with the ITS, you've eliminated all of that. And I think that's just uh, uh, the next level of technology that has been uh, very well received in the performance boating circles, especially at this level where the guys are doing the rigging because a lot less parts to install. And for the owner, well, it's a lot less parts to purchase as well. And my next... Uh, point is don't try this at home <laughs> uh, obviously this takes some very skilled rigging that's why we're here at TNT Marine Center because uh, this isn't just something that you're just gonna do in your backyard uh, and uh, with this kind of technology that we have you know these guys are the skilled professionals and have learned from the best and TNT is the kind of place that's gonna be able to do this job and you can go home and not worry about it or think about it you know it's gonna be done right the first time and that's the peace of mind that you need uh, when you're you know investing in this high performance boating lifestyle uh, there's not many people that can work on these boats and do it right uh, but when you get a shop like TNT that has done it for well over three decades and not just for performance recreational boats but you know a lot of the most winning super boats out there have been rigged by TNT you know everyone knows that John Tomlinson has been sitting in the seats of many world championship boats as well. I don't think anybody has more trophies than Johnny does for, <laughs> for throttling race boats. And, you know, he's a top commodity in the sport. Everybody wants to race with Johnny. Johnny likes racing too, but uh, sometimes he gets so many people that want him in the boat that he'll actually race two races back to back. You know, he'll race one class with outboard power and then turn around and race a big stern drive uh, class right after that. And when you have the expertise of guys like Johnny here at TNT and, of course, all of the uh, team members that they trained over the years, you know you're going to have the right guys doing the job and getting it done right the first time. And I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't help noticing just how nice and clean, uh, generally speaking, the engine compartment is. It stayed that way for most of you know the life of the Project 1080 since we rigged the boat in uh, 2018 and then started campaigning her in 2019. And that was for the next three years doing a lot of poker runs. Those Mercury Racing 540s were just such clean running motors. Well, guys, we like to keep these uh, little videos short here featuring Mercury Racing and the all-new Flight 1130 nonstop, which is about to get a set of these Mercury Racing 565s. Very excited about the future of this boat and my ability to get back out on poker runs and have some fun and trailer it out to all those events this summer. But the good news is we've got plenty more to come on this rigging project. We're going to wrap up this episode. Remember, guys, if you want to keep watching, you can begin by liking this episode, then hit the subscribe button, and make sure you click that notification bell so you'll get an update every time a new episode is released. And before we sign off, a very special thank you to Mercury Racing as well as TNT Marine Center.